Hi everyone, and welcome to the space. It's a hot day in New York City today, so it's fortuitous that the guest for this episode has a sound that I would describe as both refreshing and cool. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the sounds of Little Black Egg.
process of sounds. Oh. Can't wait. aim for that one. <laughs> right, that well, Georgia, you're well in the lead. It's your turn. Hard to believe. <laughs> I don't know any of these things. Six. Okay. Ooh, you got a good mileage one, there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Orange. Women in music. A topic I was hoping not to have to bring up. Who wrote the hit song to the 1984 motion picture, Two of a Kind? Eric Th Clapton. No, he's not a woman. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Transgendered, Eric Clapton. I know. You all know the answer. No, I I, Okay. Uh, who could this be? Take a stab. Okay. Dolly Parton? Very good guess. Olivia Newton-John. Okay. You're not moving forward, but you got six right there, so that's a key to winning is getting ahead. Thank you so much for playing that very, pleasure. very beautiful piece. Um, I'd like to start at the beginning of the egg. Can you tell us a little bit of, about the inception of the idea of it and how it came to be? It began, uh, I think this is going to be five years ago, mm -hmm. possibly. Maybe four, I'm not sure. Uh, Robert Dennis um, asked me to do a performance for mm -hmm. a series of, I guess he was putting on some kind of shows and mm -hmm. he had a rooftop show. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. It's now long ago enough that I don't quite remember. Yes, it was in Chinatown. I was there. Right. So that was the start of it, his That invitation. was the start. He so you didn't have an act ready for that. He, he, he inspired you to think of it. He inspired mm. me to think of it, yeah. and um, I uh, I took a long I said yes, and then I took a long time to try to figure out what I was going to do. And I think I probably had in, at first I think I had a more elaborate thing I wanted to do, and then I just scaled it you down. Scaled it down <laughs> to something doable. Something doable. The uh, you described the sound when I saw you at the Red Hook show beforehand as meditative. In t in terms of your approach to it. Um, how important is incident, that is things changing, as opposed to letting things sort of slowly evolve? I mean, how do you think of it in terms of what appeals to you in playing it? Um, well, uh, probably as you can tell from mm. what you just witnessed, I, I just, I do my best to just follow mm. some little voice in my head mm. telling me to go from one place to another. Sometimes it might not be what I would prefer to do. I'm, mm. I think I think I uh, would like things to be slower and simpler, mm. but sometimes you get a little um, antsy. Yeah, mm. and yeah that's so it's hard to stay at a it kind relaxed. Of is, yeah, in but then that's okay too. Mm -hmm. I, I don't mind when it goes somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Other terms that it, uh, that occur to me that may be applied to this sound, which you may or may not appreciate, would be either ambient and or new age music. How would you respond to people who put lumped this sound into those categories? Would it defend? I don't care. You don't care? <laughs> oh, that's good, okay. Um, you have played recently with a larger group in North Carolina, and more recently I was May that you played at, uh, what's it called? Pioneer uh, Works? Pioneer or, Works, right. Know, with yeah. the Big Men, which had several other people we uh, we were contacted by um, Issue Project Room mm -hmm. to do something. Mm -hmm. They asked us if we would do something where um, either, I think they probably preferred if it was Yola Tango, but we wanted to keep it not mm -hmm. so Yola Tango. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we agreed that it would be the three band members of Yola Tango, but maybe we would do something more improvisational mm -hmm. and, in, and involve other musicians that we've, some of whom we've worked with before. Mm -hmm. And um, and it just made sense we would, since we had already done a, a Little Black Egg big band, mm -hmm. we thought, well, let's do that again and we'll mm -hmm. get different people and we'll, we'll just do the same, the same concept, sort of the same concept of what I do, mm -hmm. which is no, no rehearse, I mean, we actually did rehearse, but no set piece of music mm -hmm. that's written. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of... It's all improvised off the bass. And do they yeah. follow your lead? Uh, do you, are you the initiator of the piece when you play in that larger group? Um, in as much as you are I, a little black I, right. <laughs> I think that's kind of the concept. Uh -huh. 
you know, mm -hmm. reality wise, I think, um, I guess in all the instances, I've started the piece and mm -hmm. then it just takes off. Right. And at that point, you know, it's it's mm -hmm. a free for all. Right. Okay. Oh. Ooh, oh, one. one. No, that's me. Oh, sorry. You're green. Okay. Yeah. You're going to that one. What is that? Lime, lime, lime yellow. Mellow, mild, and blue. I think mm. we're talking your language here. <laughs> Mellow, mild, no, and blue. I clearly don't know anything about women <laughs> in rock. <laughs> oh, God. Who recorded the 1963 hit album, Big Girls Don't Cry? Oh, the four seasons. You got it! Yay. Um, so, of course, Little Black Egg has a record release, which came out in 2012. And among the interesting things about it is that it's a one-sided release. And on the non-groove side is a painting by you a monotone painting, which was rendered gray on black. Is that the same thing that's on the... Uh, it is. It is the yes. same thing. So there it's black and white. Um, and this is on Egon. It came out 2012. Um, is, I would think of Egon as Yola Tango's label. Is it you and Ira who do it, or does anybody else get involved with um, Egon? We have a, a helper here and there, mm -hmm. you know, but, but basically it's, it's the band. Mm -hmm. James James helps. He recorded yeah. and mixed this. Was this done yes, in the rehearsal did. space in Yes. And yes. So tell me about the first time we talked on the phone. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember you do. No, you won't. It was a small thing, but um, I was actually still living with my mom, mm -hmm. and uh, I was in a band that never actually played. Although we may play sometime oh, soon. The reunion Kahunas show. <laughs> oh yeah. With Byron Coley uh -huh. and Ira Kaplan who I also had never met at the time. Mm -hmm. We actually had a band together having never met. Yeah. This was a virtual band, but we had a show at a, and the show was called Phenomenal World. Phenomenal World, right. Which was, a, a, my band information put that together. So hit. as I recall, the, the yeah. Kahunas actually did not appear. Yeah, fire and canceled. I was ready to, you were ready. to wing he, it. You know. Did you get cold feet or? We'll have to ask uh, him. We'll have to ask him. Well, it's about yeah. time we find a, get to the bottom of that yeah. one. Well, there were other acts to fill in, but of course we were sorely disappointed. I went. I and remember. you could have had a music career if you would have followed up I on know. that. Uh, of course, Yola Tango famously plays at FMU and uh, take uh, on an annual or occasional basis and takes requ call a request and play songs that you don't really know, but you give a very nice rendition, oftentimes as astonishingly, of songs that I suspect maybe. <laughs> there are some ringers in there, but no. no. It's, it's, oh. Do you do you know? Are there? No, no. Okay. No, there so, never are. Wow, and it's pretty amazing. Uh, so I was going to suggest we do uh, something like that now, and okay. you join me in singing a song. S do the song "Little Black Egg" by the Nightcrawlers. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Shall we do a little number? Sure. I can't play the beginning, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna keep it anyway I won't let them stretch their necks To see my little black egg with the little white specks There comes Mary, there comes Lee Stretch their necks to see my little black egg with the little white specks. I found it in a tree just the other day. Now it's mine or mine, they can take it away. Oh, gone, gone, what can I do? Little black eggs gonna tell on you I won't let them stretch their necks To see my little black egg with the little white specks I found it in a tree, oh 
Just the other day And now it's mine on mine They can take it away I'll we'll just go to the end My little black <laughs> We're all off. Anyway, well, there you have it. So I have this running just All right, good game, Chris. Yeah. We'll have to have a rematch <laughs> some other time.